Hello everyone, this is Steven Swain, aka Necrostevo, and today's battle is actually going to be my audition tape for the 2014 Pokemon US World Championships and National Championships. So thank you for taking time to view this video, and uh, best of luck to everyone else in their auditions. Now today's battle is actually going to be a VGC style battle. Um, on my side of the field we can see Hariyama, Malamar, Rotom Heat, and Gengar, whereas my opponent has Ferrothorn, Garchomp, Manectric, and Gardevoir. It is important to note that uh, all three of my opponent's Pokemon, Garchomp, Fer uh, Gardevoir, and Manectric are quite speedy, so we are likely going to see some Trick Room shenanigans in this battle. Um, of course, the plus side of having the Pokemon that my opponent has, they are all very powerful. Three of them can possibly be Mega Pokemon. Um, and of course, Ferrothorn is just difficult to take down generally. At the beginning of the battle, we see Gardevoir trace the contrary ability from my Malamar. Of course, Malamar's contrary ability means that things that would lower its stats raise them and vice versa. Uh, the first move of the battle actually goes to Gardevoir using Protect just to block the fake out from my Hariyama, correctly predicted. And then we see Manectric using Volt Switch just to get off a little bit of damage before switching out into Garchomp. Now, since my opponent did not do anything to my Malamar, I'm able to uh, my Malamar is able to use Trick Room which means that all slower Pokemon are going to move faster, or first rather, for the next five turns. Uh, a little bit of an overprediction there on Hariyama's part, as Hariyama goes for Bullet Punch on to the Gardevoir. Of course, Fairy types are weak to Steel-type moves. We also meet, see Malamar going for Psycho Cut, which is also an overprediction. Uh, rather, Psycho Cut should have hit the Garchomp there, would have done a good amount of damage. Malamar being a dark psychic type, of course, is going to be weak to the Moonblast, and it goes down immediately. Now, the critical hit Dragon Claw there is going to be rather unfortunate, as now Hariyama is not going to be able to live the burn damage, uh, and it's going to go down as well. So that means at the second turn of this match here, we're going to be down two Pokemon to four. Now, the Trick Room is still up, which is quite unfortunate here, just because we see that Gengar is now the fastest Pokemon on the field. And Psychic actually doesn't do that much to this Rotom, which means it's a, it's a bulkier build for sure. Now we do see the Will-O-Wisp miss the Garchomp, which is quite important because Will-O-Wisp would burn the Garchomp and cut its attack stat in half, which means that we would not have to deal with those Rock Slide attacks doing very much damage at all. Uh, I am able to take down the Gardevoir with a super effective Sludge Bomb coming from Gengar. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little too little too late in this battle. Now, Gyro Ball is going to come out. He likely predicted a Protect attack from Gengar right there. And Rotom is going to be able to rest, which is important because he gets all of his HP back. Now, unfortunately, since Garchomp is not burned, he's going to be able to sling around a few more powerful attacks. And, of course, there's still Manectric in the wings there. Chesto Berry, of course, wakes up Rotom immediately so he doesn't have to sleep for the two turns required for rest. And another critical hit is going to take down Gengar, unfortunately. So now it's Rotom versus the world here. Um, Leech Seed, of course, puts a seed on the opponent, which takes away some of his HP and gives it to the opponent every single turn. Uh, Ferrothorn is not going to be able to get any of that HP, though, just because it gets knocked out by the Overheat, four times weak being a Steel Grass type. Unlikely that's going to live a powerful hit like that. Now here is where that Burn Mist definitely comes into play here, because... Uh, Rotom is just not going to be able to take repeated attacks from Garchomp using Rock Slide and Manectric. Uh, of course, Manectric can run a variety of attacks. We see my opponent Mega Evolving here just to get a little bit more special attack. Uh, of course, Manectric also gets a good speed boost from Mega Evolving and the new ability in the form of Intimidate. Now, uh, Garchomp is going to protect here, to trying to avoid a burn or possible Hidden Power Ice. And Manectric protects as well kind of just to scout out to see what Rotom is going to do. Now, Rotom actually can't do very much to Garchomp, so it tries to focus on the Manectric. Going for those overheats, maybe Rotom can get a critical hit in the same way that Garchomp received earlier. Now, we do see the Volt Switch and the Dragon Claw both hit Rotom, which means Rotom is going to go down, and that's going to be the end of this battle. So, a little bit of bad luck there, but that's just the way some matches go. Now, I hope you all enjoyed this battle video uh, narration. Uh, if you need any more information from me, please just let me know. And thank you for viewing my audition. You guys have a great day.